Hey everyone, Random Randy here. This is Yarn Talk episode 70. For those of you who are new to the channel, Yarn Talk is a mostly weekly knitting, crocheting, and fiber arts vlog. Guaranteed to give you your recommended dose of fiber arts in 60 minutes or less. If you are concerned that your fiber intake may be below the recommended dosage, feel free to subscribe to the channel so that more awesome projects like these can keep your hands and your heart full. This episode is not going to be too terribly long because even though I have made some progress, I haven't made a lot of progress on things. I have a few things that are finished, a few things that are in the works, and a lot more sewing to do. So I only have two things that are finished right now, one of which I will talk about first. I'm just going to put up a picture of it. This is the octopus hat that I typically make, and I've made it in a variety of colors, and this person wanted it in the black with rainbow tweed flecked yarn. This is a Michaels brand Loops and Threads Impeccable yarn. I think the color name is Charcoal Tweed, but it's just a really dark heathery gray that's almost black, and like I said, it has rainbow tweed chunks all throughout it, and it looks really cool. So there's that. That is done. That's in the mail as of a couple of days ago on the way to its intended person. Or persons, I'm not sure. Some people share hats, so who knows, regardless. The other thing that I have done, but it's actually part of a set, so I guess it's not completely finished, but the individual piece is done, is this little hat right here. This is a little bare ear flap hat, and it is part of a family Halloween costume. I'm holding it up the wrong way because the ears are poked this way. But yes, it has little bear ears. And this is just made in Red Heart Super Saver Cafe Latte. It is going to be with what will be a polar bear hat, which is in an adult men's size or just adult size. This fits my head, but I like my hat kind of loose, but this comfortably fits those of the male variety as well. And I'm going to be making another one that will be panda, so it's going to have black ears and the crab stitch along the bottom here. Is going to just be done in black that goes all the way around the outer edge. So I'll hopefully be finishing this up tonight, well today, so that I can get it all in the mail tomorrow because it's you know for a family Halloween costume so I'd like to get it to them as quickly as possible. So there's that. And I actually have the other one just barely started now. I'm still doing increases for the crown. Other, other stuff. I did make a little bit of progress on the Tri-Peak Fade Shawl. Not a lot of progress since the last time I showed it to you because I've just been so busy lifing. But last time I showed it to you guys, I was, if I can find it here, and I haven't woven in the ends for this portion yet. The way that I do it is every time I finish one of these peaks I weave in all the ends prior, except for this, because this helps me know which side is the front side. So last time I showed it to you, I was just in here and I was just starting to add in the funky colors. So I know, here I'll show you the back so you can see the colors better without all the ends. There we go. So I'm using the Harlot colorway now, as opposed to the Lucky Harlot here, which is just the orange and black speckle, but this has the green in it. And I am about eight rows into this second point. So it's going to go from this into the green, and then it's going to fade back into this before it goes back into here. So it's getting there. I guess I didn't do too bad as far as progress. I guess I did a few more rows than I thought I did. I was watching the most recent iteration of the movie It last night and crocheting along because it's really easy. Like I said, once you get into this bigger part, 
where you just have to do your increase on one side, which is what I keep this little marker for so that I know which side the increase goes on and it's just a straight row back. So, yeah. Guess I got more of it done than I thought I did, even though after about 40 minutes into it, I was so engrossed in the movie I wasn't crocheting anymore. So I was like, well, we'll just put that away. And this is in the bag from Kendra from Hooked by Happenstance. She is doing another mystery bag club now, which I'm pretty sure signups are closed for it, but she's going to be starting another one in December and you get three months of bags of the size of your choice. This is from the Summer Blues 2018 one. The only other crochet thing that I have right now is in here, which I wasn't really planning to do, it just kind of happened. I have started making, let me see if I can find the cover page, there we go. This is the Reminisce sweater by Heidi May of the Velvet Acorn. This is a paid for pattern that you can get on Ravelry for a couple of bucks. It is amazing so far. It calls for buttons, but I honestly think once I'm done with it, I'm going to sew a zipper onto it instead. Because I just don't like buttons. I just, ugh. I just don't. Just don't like it. So I am still doing the yoke right now. This is what I have so far. Not sure how well you'll be able to see the colors. But this is Lion Brand Mandala in the Warlock colorway. So this is what I'm going to be using my Warlock Mandalas for. I have three of these. I'm only going to need slightly less than two of them for this. So yeah, looking forward to that. And the color changes in here happen a lot faster than I thought they would. Working with a DK weight yarn and a 5mm hook, it goes surprisingly fast. This is just from one evening of sitting and watching TV with my husband, so yeah, got that started because the cooler weather is coming and I want to have more things I can wear that aren't just hats and mittens and scarves. And this bag is one from Claudia from Crochet Luna and I still have this little Russian nesting doll stitch marker chilling on there. But it's got her little logo inside. This is a big bag, too. So this one is nice for sweaters and stuff. So that is all I have for crochet stuff. Like I said, this isn't going to be very long because there's craziness abounds. I have not gotten to work on my half double crochet, double stranded scrap blanket very much. In fact, I don't think I've worked on it at all since the last time I showed it. Nope, because I got four orders, four custom orders for hats within two days of each other, so everything else kind of went out the window. I knew I wasn't going to be able to work on anything else until I got those done. So, if you were just here for yarny stuff, that's all I got for yarny stuff for now. I'm going to show off some of the bags that I've been working on. And I have the rest of the batch to finish this evening so that hopefully I'll be able to get these listed before the weekend. Hopefully I'll have these listed before this goes live. So I only have one of these with the drawstring in it, but they will all have drawstrings. I just haven't gotten a chance to cut and weave them through the casings yet. So this is one of them. And it's sort of an entomology theme, I guess. It's all bug stuff. It's pretty cool. There's the front and there's the back. This is the medium size and all of my drawstring bags from here forward are going to have a handle on them, a wrist strap. And the inside is just this kind of plain, almost spiderweb, cracked-looking beige, which is pretty neat. Like I said, it's got the drawstring on this. The other ones will have the drawstring, I just haven't gotten to put it on yet. The mediums are about 11 by 13, and they have the squared bottom that's between 3 and 4 inches. The other medium one that just needs the drawstring is this fabric. 
which is the witchy one with the hats and the cauldron and everything. It's got the same interior lining, same tan handle. Here is the large version of the entomology bag. I really like this one. It's pretty neat. And I will have one more of these in the medium and a few pouches. This is going to be a one of a kind because this is made from fabric that a fibery friend sent to me. So this is a large sized spider fabric bag. And the inside is that same tan. I found a lot of kind of neutral interior fabrics that I'm going to be using so that I'm not agonizing over making sure this color matches that color and pairs with this portion of the print and it's just such a pain. But I have pouches cut that just need to be sewn and have interfacing also cut that are this fabric and also this one. So hopefully by the time you guys see this, I will have those done so that they can be up in my shop. Because right now when I'm filming this, it is Tuesday the 25th. Yes, it's the 25th. Because on Facebook, if you guys are <laughs> in contact with Ella from No Catchy Name on Facebook, she's very much a Christmas person. And I kind of joke with her about it because I'm all bah humbug Christmas. And she's like, there's exactly three months until Christmas as of today. And I'm like, bleh. But that's the only reason that I know offhand that today is the 25th. <laughs> Isn't that horrible? I'm a horrible person. Anyway, so in line with all of that, the only other thing that I wanted to announce to you all is that I'm going to be having a sale in my Etsy shop before I put it in vacation mode because I am still going to be doing the October show with Urban Unglued, so my craft market will be the 20th of October at the Masonic Center in Tacoma, Washington. It's open to the public from 10 to 5, and I think setup for us can start as early as 8. Tacoma is like a 20-minute drive from my house, so it's not a big deal. But... Since I'm going to be putting my shop in vacation mode so I don't have to worry about scrambling to fill orders while I'm trying to make stuff to take to the show, I'm going to shut my shop down on the 7th of October. So until then, starting now from whatever day this goes live, it'll probably be either Wednesday or Thursday this week, I'm going to have a 15% off a $25 or more purchase in my shop doesn't matter what the items are, as long as your total is $25 or more, pre-tax, pre-shipping, 15% off. And I'm not going to post a code, but there will be a link in the description box below the video. Just click on that and it should automatically add that coupon to your cart for anything you buy from my shop. Because last time I posted the coupon code and for whatever reason, pasting it in didn't work, but following the link did. I don't know if that's one of the weird new things that Etsy's changing with all of their things that they're doing lately or not. I have no idea. So, as I said, this one is really horrendously short. So I'm sorry about that, guys, but life is insanity and in less than an hour I have to go pick Hunter up from school. Yay! And on top of that, my husband is training for a while now, then he'll be back for a very brief time and off for training again. Tis the season to never see him, I guess. Yeah. So, that's all lifey stuff. And my hair looks horrible because I've spent most of my morning cleaning up the yard and raking up the ungodly amounts of acorns and sweeping away all of the detritus from having our house pressure washed the other day, yesterday, which was super fun and drove the dog and the cat insane and Killian was not happy to be stuck inside the house while it was occurring. So I just wanted to say thank you everybody for watching and like I said if you're interested in any of the yarns that I have, any of the bags currently posted in my shop, any of those things, go check them out because my shop will be going on vacation mode in about a week on the 7th, so week and a half-ish depending on when you see this. 
So thank you so much everybody for watching and I will catch you all in the next video. Bye.